Okay, Pastor Brett here. Just uh, I just wanted to show you this Bible. This is a um, this is uh, a, a an old old Ruby um, reference uh, teacher's edition uh, that was given to me. Um, I had to. I mean, it was so old and dried out um, that it split here. Uh, it's not it, it's not edge lined, but it is a full yap, um, almost full, um, and uh, it was so old. Um, and and if you look at the edges here at the top, you can see where they're worn still. Um, but it was brittle and it was falling apart. I've been treating it with extra virgin olive oil. You can see it's a uh, teacher's edition. And it's an Oxford text with the concordance. And it is Levant Silk Zone, not Smith Zone. But it's Silk Zone. Now this was so badly dried out that it was cracking and falling apart. Um, this Bible is going to outlive me now. Um, I'm going to keep treating it. See, Ruby. Ruby reference. It's an Oxford facsimile series. Um, and, uh, oh, what a wonderful Bible. The teacher's edition, with of course the epistle dedicatory. It does not have the translators to the reader, but now this is silk sewn. Um, the difference between silk sewn and smith sewn is just the material that was used, but you can see. The silk sewn stitching right there. It was flat as opposed to being um, thin. Mm, hallelujah. Let's see if I can find a. Yeah. That's probably the best best spot. You can see it down in there. Um, and. What a wonderful Bible. Man, this thing is so... It's got uh, a timeline at the top of each of the side columns. The side columns outside. It's small print, but uh, it's actually a um, six-point font. Uh, it's not... Um, it's not unreadable uh, in the daylight or underneath this lamp. I can read it. Forgive my shadow there. And uh, but it's just it's so flexible now. It was like I said it was cracking, but now it's very flexible. Um, and uh, what I did with the um, the back is I colored it with a uh, permanent black marker, but because permanent black ink marker has alcohol in it, it would dry it out, I then immediately coated it, um, covered it, soaked it with extra virgin olive oil um, just to combat the alcohol in the marker. So darkening the cover, hiding some of the um, wear and tear, but not covering it all. I didn't want to cover it all. I wanted some of it to show. Um, and because it's um, so old, man, it's just so beautiful. I don't know the date on this Bible. There is not a date in it. And so, if anybody knows, um, my buddy Steve would probably know just by looking at the block. But, hey Steve, if you see this and you know the year that this Bible was produced, let me know. Um, it's, like I said, it's absolutely awesome. And it has so much um, 
help in the back. Uh, it's a teacher's edition. It should. That's like almost the middle of the Bible, and look at all the rest are all helps. Look at all that. It all helps. You could see it was gold gilded. It's gold gilding on it. Um, and the gilding's still in excellent shape. Um, this was given to me by a brother. Um, very dear brother, man, and I'm just thankful for it. Um, so, uh, I was going to have it rebound, but I decided to just start treating the leather. I don't want to change it. It's an awesome Bible. Thanks, Joel. I, uh... As you can see, man, I still have it, and I love this Bible, man. Yep, great Bible, so, um, yep, so that's it. I just wanted to show you my, uh, my, uh, Oxford Royal Ruby, um, with this old, old cover, man, beautiful, beautiful Bible, and, uh, if you have a good leather Bible um, and it starts to get old and torn, treat it. Yeah, I would say, like for example here, my, my water buffalo um, doesn't need anything for at least a, a few years. You, know, you can let leather go for a few years. I wouldn't let it go for more than five without giving it some, uh, you know, oiling it up my allen uh goat skin i'll oil this up soon this is starting to uh yeah nice so what a blessing what a blessing well there you go there's a little uh look at my um oxford uh Teacher's edition of the Royal Ruby text. Hey, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great evening in Jesus' name.